One week of pot sales, Oregon retailers sold more than $11 million of marijuana. Today, hundreds flocked to the Oregon Hemp Convention to find out more about the drug and recreational sale, which all began on October 1st. Now, Jennifer Dowling is digging deeper and tonight into why activists there are saying people's rights are still in jeopardy. Jennifer. Chris, that's right. Organized pot organizations were at that convention and they tackled the issue of safe and legal access to those who sell and use that drug. Now, we talked to Russ Bellevue of Portland Normal. He says one of the biggest concerns in Oregon is still consumer rights. He says there is a big disparity between pot availability in Eastern Oregon and Western Oregon. In Portland, he says there are at least 100 regulated outlets at which to buy legal marijuana. Meanwhile, in Ontario, Oregon, for example, he says customers are four hours away from a legal shop and it's not just an issue of access. He also says because it's still illegal at a federal level, people's basic constitutional rights are in jeopardy. We still don't have a place to smoke. We can still be fired from our jobs. We can still lose our kids. We still don't have our Second Amendment rights. There's plenty still to fight for. Belleville also had a reminder for users to keep the products out of the reach of children and locked up. His message, just because it's legal, doesn't mean it's time to forget basic safety. And he says it's time for users to be more diligent than ever to provide an example for other states that want to legalize. Back to you, Chris.